This time, I'll be uncovering the amazing secret of the sea slater. Sea slaters often get treated like the cockroaches of the sea, but in reality, they're actually pretty cute little creatures. And if you put one in water, you'll see it swim surprisingly well. But did you know that sea slaters are not insects? Sea slaters are crustaceans. They belong to the order Isopoda within the crustaceans. Among marine animals, they're related to creatures like Bathynomus, or the giant isopod, and Exigua, or tongue-eating louse. And on land, they're extremely similar to pill bugs and woodlice. So today, I'd like to show you just how similar sea slaters are to pill bugs. Sea slaters live around rocky shorelines and breakwaters. So if you look closely at the rocks in a tidal pool, you can easily spot sea slaters crawling around like this. Since I'm not very good at touching arthropods, my friend who came along helped me catch one. Ta-da! This is a sea slater. When we put it in water, it swam much better than I expected. But since sea slaters aren't aquatic animals, leaving them underwater for too long can cause them to drown. Now, to reveal what sea slaters really are, let's take a look at one under a microscope. When we zoom in, First, you'll notice that their eyes are surprisingly clear and pretty. Sea slaters have compound eyes, just like insects, a structure where many small lenses are clustered together. Their bodies are divided into a head, thorax, and abdomen. And the thorax is made up of seven segments. If we catch a pill bug from the street and zoom in on it, you'll see that it has almost the exact same segmented structure. Its thorax also has seven segments. They really do look alike, don't they? A pill bug has one pair of legs on each thoracic segment, seven pairs in total. Sea slaters also have seven pairs of legs, just the same. And if we flip a sea slater over, you'll see that the tips of its legs have claws that are a little orange in color. Kind of creepy, right? Looking further down at the underside of the abdomen, you'll notice overlapping plate-like structures. These are gills evolved to function like lungs, allowing the sea slater to breathe on land. Pill bugs also have the same type of respiratory organs on their abdomen. These breathing structures only work when there's enough moisture, which is why both sea slaters and pill bugs live in dark, humid places or near water. Sea slaters and pill bugs really are incredibly similar. Sea slaters feed on dead marine life, seaweed, and all kinds of organic material washed up on the shore. Basically, anything that they can find. Many people dislike sea slaters, but in fact, they play the important role of decomposing organic waste and acting as the cleanup crew of the coastline. Recently, marine debris and organic waste in our waters has been increasing continuously, making sea slaters an essential part of maintaining a healthy beach ecosystem. Are sea slaters starting to look a bit cuter now? Maybe? But unfortunately, the problem of marine debris and waste is far too serious for sea slaters to fix on their own. Marine litter comes from many sources, runoff from land, waste from ships and fishing gear, and illegal dumping by tourists and local residents. Because of this debris, countless marine animals die every year. So governments around the world are working on ocean cleaning projects, collecting floating waste, and blocking trash before it enters the sea from rivers, all through multi-layered efforts to keep our oceans clean. But ultimately, preventing trash from being created is even more important than removing it afterward. So to protect the ocean, each of us needs to be mindful of our actions. And with that message, we'll end today's video here. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. This has been Fishy Science, revealing the mysteries of the world through science.